Good. This is Kev with KevWestBeats.com here today to do another tutorial on Reason. Today I was going through the comments on my SSL video I did last year for um, Reason 6 and the question came up, he, um, the user didn't understand how to set up the SSL to work correctly with Reason. What I'm going to say is it doesn't work like previous versions of Reason where you had to right click or go into create, go other or you know pick and pick your mixer that's not how reason six works in reason six it's all fairly fairly automated so just to give you guys an example of how this works i'll create an id8 now if you look here you see the id8 pops up also you get this nice handy dandy mix channel now uh, i'll go into the mix channel more in a little bit but what this mix channel does and the audio channels do this too they auto route this is your mixer channel. You do not have to create new mixers in Reason 6. It automatically does this for you. And you, there's all your features and everything inside of the mix channel itself. And then of course, you know all the other good stuff that I went through over in the other video. If you um, don't know which video I'm talking about, or if you haven't seen the other video that I'm talking about, um, just check out my videos. It's the other SSL video introduced in Reason 6. Um, right now it's about 20,000 views, so it should be pretty easy to find. Um, anyway, let's go back to, and you could also get to this view by pressing F5 on your QWERTY keyboard. Um, let's go back now to the rack and what I was talking about with the mix channel, because this is actually one really cool thing that I really, really like about mix channels. For me, when I was, I'm a Reason user, um, I've been a Reason user since script version 2, so it's about 2002, 2003. And what I've always liked about the um, what I like about the mix channels that you couldn't do on the 14.2 mixer is you don't have to create a combinator right away to make combinators. This mix channel actually doubles up as a combinator. If you click the little arrow, you get the drop down, then go show inserts and effects. You just drop your instrument in there, and it's basically a combinator. It, you can chain all your instruments right in there. But also when you go click show programmer, you click here and you can actually save it as a combinator file. So, I mean, you don't have to work this way. Some people do, some people don't. Uh, I like work, I like having that option there in case I really, really want to work that way. And it still works just like every other one now. Instead of having the four buttons and knobs across the top, you have them right here. So anyway, that was just my quick... Um, reply for the SSL video and a quick overview on mixed channels um, you know the audio channels work this way as well um, but anyway thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel and uh, also check me out at kevwestbeats.com where I offer sounds uh, for reason I offer tips for reason and a lot of my and all my videos are also posted on that site as well and that's where you'll get um, more news um, about anything I'm doing as far as reasons concerned for anybody looking for more information anyway thank you